hey guys so i'm just like on a lunch break right now and i wanted to pop on here and you know let everyone know that we are back from nigeria i am back <laughs> so i am back and i am in the united states again um so we've been back for a few months now i have not had the time to come on here and tell everyone that we are back but most people know that we are back um so it, it was quite a journey um we were in nigeria for about a year and two months or so um it was a good journey there were some you know ups and downs hopefully i do get times to share the good the bad and the ugly <laughs> what made me cry in nigeria what made me happy um you know things that you know if someone um, wants to move to nigeria that they will find helpful um hopefully i will have more time to talk about those things but today is just you know we are back and you know a major difference that i find with nigeria in the united states is that when i was in nigeria um you know i was constantly looking for things to do um because you know my husband was always gone he was really the one that was doing mission in nigeria it wasn't me i mean i tried i tried my best i did what i could do but he was the one that was you know leaving early coming back home late you know um fixing up the church things like that while i was home with the babies because the kids they are so um small let me fix this here okay okay the sun has gone down <laughs> i was like what happened um <laughs> so anyways the kids are so small i had to stay home and i did have a car i did have my driver's license but um i couldn't go anywhere other than shopping for food and church and home because the way that most of these nigerian people drive let me tell you i mean they say that you know if you can drive in lagos you can drive anywhere in the world well i cannot drive anywhere in the world because i mean other than the u.s baby <laughs> i cannot drive everywhere in the world or every places in the world because it's mad like it's crazy over there okay when it comes to how people drive in the roads and the structures everything no one really follow the rules so anyways um so i was just home all the time even if i was to record a video it was hard because i was not able to um edit the videos because you know nepa which is the um power supply there um would go all the time so there's no electricity we do have a generator but the generator would constantly break so <laughs> um i'm sure you know i would have gotten used to it if i stayed there longer because there are a lot of um, Nigerian YouTubers, a lot of people who, um, who, who has YouTube channels, they do find ways around that. Um, but for me, um, <laughs> it was a thing like, okay, well, there's no light or there's not. I'm not going to go drive somewhere just to edit my video and post it because I wasn't going to drive. So, <laughs> and then I came to the U.S., and so I was, you know, I had all the time there. And then I came to the U.S. and I still have a video of a wedding that I, I took some footage from for. I went to a New Year, you know, thing. Uh, family friends invited us to eat and we went to the beach. I have footages from that. I still haven't uploaded. Um, so I still haven't even edited. I got back to the U.S. I have the electricity. I do have the, um, you know the computer the resources that i need to edit and upload but i'm not able to do that because i'm so busy right now like beyond busy like packing up your stuff and move to another country and then coming back i wouldn't wish that on anyone unless i mean especially if you have kids if you're riding solo let me tell you okay but if you have these little children with you and you get back to the U.S., you have to find daycare, you have to find work, you have to find a place to live, you have to um, make time, you know, for bills, budgets, and it 
crazy in my household right now um but we're getting by um things are getting easier day by day so um we're still very busy um working um you know in the process of looking for other jobs or better jobs um things like that so hopefully soon we'll you know um catch a break from all of that and we'll have you know our place settled and then you know we have the ideal job maybe we want to where we want to work out things like that so i'm hoping for that and then i'll have more time but anyways it was fun being in nigeria um i do have a lot of stories oh my goodness i have so many stories especially within the church i want to talk about that and the healthcare system in nigeria just things that um that i think people can benefit from when they what to expect and stuff like that so from now on i'll probably have these little sessions in my vehicle <laughs> during lunch <laughs> so that i can um make sure everyone um you know who's trying to go to nigeria or any other part of africa really um so they can have a heads up on things that i went through um things that was good and the things that was bad just the experience overall so um yeah it was really fun being in nigeria um i just wish i got more done i just wish that i could have gone more places maybe one of these days we'll take up a vacation to go and visit like the church and visit um <coughs> excuse me and um visit you know or maybe just a vacation to just go enjoy nigeria because i don't believe we enjoy nigeria the way that we could have because my husband was always gone um and that's what he was there he went there to do so mission accomplished for him um i just wish we you know got a chance to go to the beach more or um explore the island because we stayed on the mainland and i can do a video to explain what the difference is between those two um so yeah if you have any questions um oh why are we back that's a that's an important question um well we are back because we, we were there for a year and about two months and we thought we were gonna be there longer but with the kids being so small and um you know my husband being on an independent mission I mean, he had a, um, a couple of sponsors, like, like maybe two people um, that was sending like about, you know, a, a, a few dollars, you know, every month for the church. But ev everything that he did while he was in Nigeria was solo. It was something that God had put on his heart to do. And it was, you know, our own finances that was pro that was providing for that that was um what's the word i'm looking for <laughs> it was our own money that was um that was uh you know getting everything done so um and we noticed that you know there's no jobs um it was hard to find a job um things like that so we decided to bring the kids back and you know give them an opportunity and maybe when they grow a little bit more um you know and go to college things like that we'll see about going overseas to do you know what we love to do but as for right now we just decided to to come back where the resources are to raise them so that's why we 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 came back that well that's one of the reason that we came back and then um um, so it's it's great to be back with family and friends. I, I was really enjoying Nigeria because I met new people. I made new friends over there. But it feels good to be back with family and friends where I can see my mom and my dad, my sisters, my brother, um, you know, and, and friends as well. And if you happen to be watching this video and we have a close relationship, and I haven't been calling you as much. It's not because I'm ignoring you. It's because it's really, it really has been so busy around here. And hopefully I can catch up with, you know, the people that I haven't catch up with yet. Um, I did have a few friends who came, you know, to all in. Do to see us <laughs> can i tell my location on here i don't think so so um <laughs> um 
So we're not in Pensacola anymore. Um, we may be moving soon anyway, so I guess I can tell my location. <laughs> I was like, what? Why did I just tell my location? But um, we may be moving soon anyway, so anyways. <laughs> Ooh. And I haven't been feeling too well. You can tell that in my throat <laughs> every time I, I try to speak. And no, it's not coronavirus, thank God. Um, I've just, my baby's had a cold and I, and, and I had it too. It's on its way out. So, um, <laughs> the sun keeps coming and going, so it affects the lighting for this video. But anyways, um, the point is we are back in the state and hopefully I will be sharing more tips on what it was like in Nigeria. Okay. See you guys on the next video.